Hey guys, happy Halloween! And yeah, happy Halloween! Um, so right now in this video, I will talk about things I top five things I am scared of. But first, I'm gonna show you my costume. So if you guys don't know who I am, I am. The Kuchi Sakayona, or a Slipmouth Woman from Japanese mythology. And basically, if you don't know her, yeah, this doesn't really look anything like her, but I'm trying my best. Hold on, she has her hair down like this. And she carries scissors, 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 scissors around with her. And, wait, hold on. Yeah. I know the makeup's a little bit messed up and it's not professional, but yeah, I didn't have time. Wake up in the morning, get ready, go to school, come back. Oops, I just kicked something. And yeah. And if this video turns out upside down, I'm very sorry. So basically, so she has her mouth like this. And she asks, am I beautiful? If you say yes, she'll take down her mask, and then she'll be like, am I beautiful now? If you say yes again, she'll take her scissors and slit your mouth just like hers. And yeah, I'm fine. I like sharp stuff. It's very creepy, but yeah. Um, and then if you say no, she'll stab you with scissors. Um... If you say, like, am I beautiful, or throw something at her feet, or something like that, then she'll become confused. Well, my mom does not like the pain of it. And then she'll become confused, and then you get a chance to run away. So, yeah. This is what it was for Halloween 2018. Ugh. Focus on Whitley. I'm going to be point. I'm going. I'm filming a video. Oh, wait, no, Leah. It's not done yet. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll feature my sister later on, cause I haven't gotten to film a video just me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyways, the first thing I'm scared of, wait, and actually, maybe top six, maybe all the things I'm scared of, yeah. When it comes to these things, I become quite a coward, or quite a psychopath sometimes, depending on what my fear is. So the first one is being kidnapped. I have a severe fear of being kidnapped, so yeah, so basically... If I see an older guy, or just like an older person, and I become kind of suspicious of them being like, Oh my god, where's this person who kidnaps me? And I get kind of scared. Which also leads me to be to being scared of the dark. Because I feel like in the dark, I'm like sleeping. And then... This guy just comes in, this person, I don't know who, just comes in, and then they're like, Hey little girl, come with me. I have some chains, and a knife, and a gun in my house. Come with me. Or like, they like, drug me or something. And then I fall asleep, I wake up, tie, chained to a bed, with a, with a person pointing a gun. Or in the knife at my face, and yeah, I'm scared, I'm scared, and yeah. Sorry, I think I like to think. So, if you ever catch me daydreaming, I'm very sorry. I get distracted very easily, which basically means I. Most of the time, if I get distracted, that usually means I'm thinking about something. And I might be thinking about a lot of things in this video, so I'm very sorry. Um, my second fear is... 
Sorry, daydreaming again. So, my second favorite is dead things. Well, I don't know if you would count, like, um, scared, being scared of the dark as number two, but, but I'd count that as just being connected to being scared of being kidnapped, so, yeah. And if you were planning to kidnap me, and you were watching this video, be careful. I have a plan. If I ever get kidnapped. <laughs> that might not be a good plan. Because they might be smarter than me. Because they're older. They're younger. I'm scared. Okay. Anyways. um, So. My second fear is. And I might split this into two videos. So yeah. Maybe two videos. My second fear is dead things because this has happened a lot i see like a dead cockroach a dead june bug or something on the middle of the road i scream and run <laughs> as far away as i can from it i'm very scared because it's like you got the like guts coming out like <clears throat> i'm like look oh, oh, oh. i'm gonna cringe with disgust Actually, I have no idea what cringe means, but, yeah. I think it means, like, when I was, like, yeah. That's kind of what I do, because I'm, like, okay. And my third fear, third, three, three, three. I think in some other countries, they do three like this. Three. My third fear well, yeah, I was going to say the movie Coraline, but I'll say that for video number two, because I feel like that should deserve a whole nother video, a whole nother topic, because it's super scary. Yeah. Like, this is like the button eyes and stuff. So, my third fear is clowns. I'm scared of clowns. Because, like, their smile. It does not look innocent at all. They look like they want you to, like, laugh to death. And then once you're, like, already dead, they want to, like, stab you again. And then they want to be, like... <laughs> and they look all sadistic. And if you don't know what sadistic means, look it up. I'm just kidding. So, in my own words, I would describe it as, like, basically taking pleasure from hurting somebody so like you're you're like beating somebody up and then you're like <laughs> why do i love this this is so great oh my god there's, there's blood coming out <laughs> that's basically an example of being sadistic <laughs> yeah basically that's what it looks like maybe not all the time but yeah but that's how i describe it and then, yeah, they just look like super creepy. Yeah. Like, I'm not that scared of them, but each time I see one, I'm just like. Because in, um, in the summertime, I go to LA to see my aunt and my uncle who live down there. On my, they're both on my mom's side. And we go to the farmer's market. And then I see this clown. He's I used to always go up to him and just be like, Ooh, it's balloon. Now I'm just like Help me. Leah, 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 stay away from it. Hide me, Auntie, hide me. Oh my god, help me, help me, help me. That's just basically what I am. I'm sorry if you're that clown and you're watching. But the truth is I'm scared of clowns. Okay, my fourth fear. How do you put your pinky finger? Fourth fear is the sound of loud toilets. Um, what's it? Keys opening a door and the garage door. Like, it's so loud and super creepy. So each time I hear it, it's either a signal of run or a signal that means 
hide. Hide. Like, literally, every single time my dad comes home late at night, he, like, opens the, the, the garage door opens, he opens the door, and I'm like, <laughs> oh my god. Like, I just, like, find the nearest place to hide. Either the bathroom, I lock it up, and just pretend like I actually, yeah, I'm going to the bathroom, which I actually do, because the scaredness makes me go. Hide behind the bed, or, like, in the kitchen, or behind the couch, just anywhere that's near me that I can find, and, yeah. And then my fifth fear, my fifth fear, hold on, I'm making a video, um, sorry guys, so, yeah, my fifth fear is, sorry, I'm very, very, very forgetful, I need a chance to think. And I do have a fifth year, by the way. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. Now you remember. By the way, this is not fake. This is life. And I actually am very forgetful, by the way. So my fifth fear is a ton of drama happening. This is the fear where I get a little bit psychopathic. So, yeah. So basically, and trust me, this happened. Oh, actually, I said. Yeah, so yeah. So basically, once in fifth grade, a ton of drama was happening near the end of fifth grade, and people were choosing sides and just like all this random drama. Actually, I have no idea what happened. I just suddenly got caught up in it because one of my friends told me to take sides with them. So yeah, I I did, and then yeah. I just got caught up in a ton of drama. And I like to call it the period of depression and drama. Maybe just, yeah, I'll just shorten it. Period of drama. Because why? People were fighting. They were punching each other, giving each other bloody noses, everybody's screaming, arguing, and all this stuff, it's like, oh my god, and calling each other names, it's like, help me, and then, the more that happened, and by the way, if you guys didn't know, if, like, I get caught up in too much drama, I start to even, like, love it, like, I want more, <laughs> Yeah, I become kind of like that. And that is how my mind was at that period. And, yeah. I might have to re-upload this video because it's too long, but, yeah. And then during that period, I was also kind of sad, like, No! Oh my god! Why is this happening? Oh no! Oh no, I need to do something! <sighs> Sorry, those are random. It's a it's a line from BTS. Yeah, my favorite band, K-pop band, number one K-pop boy band. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'll share my sex fear in the next video with Coraline in it. So yeah. Bye, peace out, and always stay positive, always do your best, never give up, but, and love yourself, and love others, too. And, yeah. Also, and if you get too engaged in loving, it's good to love yourself, but if you love yourself too much, you have way too much confidence, you start to become egotistical. If you don't know what that means... It's basically conceited, selfish. And yeah, you just became like super into yourself. Like, oh my god, I'm the best. Everybody loves me. Everybody loves me. I'm so pretty. I'm the best. That's basically what egotistical is.
I'm like, you're better than me. So, yeah. Don't become, don't do that, okay? That's really bad. Really bad. And don't take drugs, because they kill your life like they killed lots of celebrities. If you don't want your life to end like one of those really popular celebrities, like Prince or something, then, yeah, don't take drugs. And be safe on Halloween, because you never know. You might be kidnapped. I'm not trying to scare you, but, yeah. Just be safe on Halloween. And be safe always. Because you don't want to be all of a sudden abducted by some random stranger who's like, Hey, little kid, come with me. <laughs> and you're like, no, get away from me. You, 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 you punk. <sighs> Stop it. Or something like that. So, yeah. Bye.